Welcome back to Desync. My name is Nilaus, and today we're going to take a look a bit beyond what is available in the public demo. demo. I have access to the closed alpha, and there's a lot more to show. Of course, the preemptive thing here is to say, of course, this is all uh, early access. Or, no, it's not even early access. It's pre-early access. So anything you see can and probably will change, but it just gives us an indication of all the cool things. And that's kind of what I'm going to focus on is only the cool things. And luckily that's going to be easy in this game because there are so many cool things. So thank you, first of all, for all to all of you who are uh, supporting this uh, this show. Uh, the series and uh, urging me to continue. I just realized that we have some uh, some silly bots here that kind of, kind of got stuck. And uh, we're going to fix those. They are a bit derpy. These uh, these slopes that are only one wide, not a great idea because they uh, they tend to just really get stuck. Really, ramps should be too wide, in my opinion, so they can sort of bump, they don't bump into each other and get stuck. Very minor detail. Um, right, what uh, I've done, I've done a few things between uh, sessions. And what I've basically done is just clean up a little bit here. So we now have a very clear city block build. We have drones running around here, dashbots, all of them. Dashbots with solar power. Solar cells is working into the network uh, when they are here. We have uh, dedicated some location here for the metal bars, metal plates, wire, silicon, circuits, energized plate, re reinforced plate, and more reinforced plates. Reinforced plates is something you need a lot of. Uh, what we have here is just general storage that we uh, will have our drone scout just bring in. This is uh, just on always on cleanup duty, just checking if anything is dropped on the ground and then it'll come pick it up. Out here on the edges, we keep expanding outwards. I know it's not necessary to do this holistic, uh, all encompassing grid, but you know me, I do my thing. And uh, every time I do, it's just to get out here to just tap more resources. So example, when you get like this juicy one here, it's a good opportunity to go in and uh, actually make a miner here. That one, that one. And then we are going to find one of these. And then basically put these in here. And uh, this will just be some static miners. I and mean, since it's 2,700, I think it's worth it to do, put some static miners on here. Now let's start looking at, while this is getting built, let's start looking at the tech tree. So you can see that my tech tree is a little more expanded than what uh, you might have available if you're looking at the base basics. What happens is that once you complete this, you get to the tech and then you get the re-simulator, which I haven't built, but as soon as you build the re-simulator, it uh, ends the game. Now we can't do the re-simulator at this point because we don't have uh, the enough crystal powder and enough of the high density frames either. So we need to get some of those in order to make the re-simulator. So that's going to be our first task. Beyond that, I want to just show you that there's something called a blight research. I'll just show a little bit of this. Um, you need to collect some, what is it? 100 of these uh, blight extraction, blight research. So it's, I'll show you how that's done, but it opens up into some really cool things here. I uh, don't know if I want to go into detail because this is, of course, since it's not part of the demo, it's super much uh, subject to change. But the idea of it is that we can uh, we can say here we produce by the data analyze, analyzer. So anything we want to do here is produced by the data analyzer. And if we look at this cube, no, where is it? Uh, this cube here. This is produced by the data analyzer. And data analyzer is on something you get once you complete all of this only at this point do you get the data analyzer so it is uh, clear to me at least that you have to do the basic you have to do the advanced and only after that can you get started on the research the blight research uh, so this is going to be completely irrelevant for a very long time so our focus is going to be on the advanced research uh, here on the sort of the basics that's what we're going to be working on we also have virus research that is something that can cause a massive massive headache i i hope i think it is disabled in uh, in the uh, in the demo, I'm going to show you up here. I'm not going to get infected by the virus because that's nasty. I think that up here I did have one. Uh, let me see. Can I see a damn thing? I can't see a damn thing up here. So you don't want to get if you will find on the map some glitch bots and we can't see a damn thing. So let's uh, not go out there during the night and just wait a little bit more until we have that. Let's go back to the research table once we are here. So our objective today is going to look at advanced logistics. You can see here, what do we get from advanced logistics? We get radio receiver, radio transmitter. That means you can start having them communicate with each other uh, by sort of sending a signal and receiving a signal. 
We have an internal storage, which is very nice. One extra storage at the cost of an internal slot and a small storage, the one we found a few of those and they are super useful. So that's gonna be really nice to get that. Over here by the buildings, uh, that's another thing we want to focus on or work towards. We have now the opportunity to make a large platform in a one by one in a large. We have a two by two building that has three M's and a two by one building that has two M's. Now we're gonna like that, we already have that. The difference is uh, that we actually have eight storage in this one and there's also eight storage in this one, which is two small and one medium in a two by one frame. And then we get the opportunity to make refined crystal, which is what we need for the next tier of research. Last upgrade is a large wind turbine that will then go handily into the large spot. And then a power transmitter with a range of 100, which should be able to send power outside of the normal grid into sort of, for example, miners that are out there or maybe, uh, uh, maybe explorers that are also outside. And uh, so that is uh, the objective. The first thing we want to do is, of course, in order for us to build the reach emulator, actually, I think we want to build the reach emulator immediately or at least just tag it down so that it gets started to be built. I don't know what it does. I don't know what it's supposed to be like. So we just stamp it down here and they'll get busy on building it in here. But we can see that we don't have any of the high density. Uh, we don't have, uh, we, we do have a lot of the silicon, so that's not a problem. We do have a lot of the circuit boards, that's not a problem, but we don't have a lot of the crystal powder we need here. So those are the two things. Let's get started on that. And in order for me, us to make the hot, uh, HD frame, we also need to make cable. So I'm gonna make it up here. And this is now going to have to be built. The crystal powder is made in a refinery. So we need to make this refinery building. I'm pretty sure I built one that builds refineries. Yeah, here. So we have refineries being built automatically. This will take two silica and 10. So it's not really a big deal. And I think I want to make it in a build that is pretty much a, a medium building here. And I'm gonna build it up here. So let's uh, build it sort of similar to the other ones. Build it that location. And we're gonna get the stuff inbound. I'm gonna get this inbound because we need some thing. And we're gonna get this copy in here. I love the fact that you can copy so damn easily. And we're gonna get an output that will be out here. Now, if you sense that I get distracted once in a while, then I have two very, very playful cats just jumping all over my room. So uh, any, any disturbance I can purely blame on the kittens. All right, this one got built pretty damn fast. So let's get some stuff inbound for this. That will be, well, we'll definitely need one of these transporters and we will also need two refineries here. That one. So those will come on in. This will not be like that. Uh, we've also found out as well that I actually don't need to have this behavior because this behavior wasn't really, uh, let's see. Uh, let's just throw it down there. This behavior was purely to illustrate the circuit board content or how much we have of the material we're producing. And in this case, we want to make, I can't even remember. Oh, it's the crystal powder we want to make. If you just on the visual registry, register, set the crystal powder, scroll down to infinite, then you won't see it here, but it'll show indicate here how much you actually have. These we still have it, request chunks and request silica. All good. Uh, this one, we got everything we want. And let's build that here. There we go. Do we need anything else? No, nope. but we do need to highlight what we want to build here. There we go. And then I want to set that in the visual. And then once we have, the, oh, no, 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 it's not ready yet. I also want to make sure that we fix these uh, output slots so that um, we don't get any problems here because we did have that issue before that one and lock it all in good now i can copy this paste 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 and paste that's all good and we can start once this one gets in get that in here and get this in here oh i forgot something they should have been disabled from the network these are not even part of the network they'll just be brought in because they have requesters here we're starting to get the requesters in we're starting to get this in. they are starting to build that is glorious and we need to get the rest of it in sweet well, that was, uh, that was one easy thing. Then the next thing we want to do is cable, I guess. Cable is, uh, how do we make cable? That's also in a refinery, if I recall correctly. I don't know why we refine cable. Ooh, that has three inputs. That's um, interesting. That's actually really interesting because that's something I haven't really thought of before. How do we make three inputs? Hmm. 
Yeah. Maybe we can just... Maybe we could actually do something different instead of having a one by one. It's going to need a behavior controller and it's going to need a transport. Portable transporter. But would it be possible for me to take a building such as this and use... It could do that. Yeah. And then we can use these medium ones. Let's see. It needs a behavior and a transporter. Maybe even more transporter. I don't know what the capacity of this is. And probably not be able to keep up. But we will also need to have more storage. And this does not have enough storage. This, well, it's actually pretty good to have the storage. But the question is, would I be able to have three different things in here? I could if I... If I used one of, hmm, you know what? I'll try that. I'll try that. It's it's gonna be interesting to do that. To do that, give that a little shot. And we are going to build this one as the medium, and then we are going to try. That gets disabled, and you get pushed onto the next. So that also gets started. And that makes powder, and these are coming in. Right from this location, I will also be building. Uh, this is a 2 by 2 m hmm. 4 storage, 4 storage. This one has 8 storage. I'm going to try this. It seems really silly, but I think it could be done. So having this one as the inserter here, and then it'll have to have one program that's a little more advanced than the programs we're used to, used to operating. This will be getting one inserter and two refineries where be the refineries there two refineries great and let's wait for this one to be done so we can start working on this all right while we're waiting for more refineries to be built i will show you the most dangerous thing in the entire game <laughs> and uh, it'll probably be changed so this is a small glitch bot if you move you can see there's glitches around it if you move close you will get infected by virus and there is a virus protection uh, item that you can build. And I have, uh, as a precaution, put that on all of my workers. I hope. There. Virus protection. That protects us against the virus uh, for workers. Because I had a one little incident where I got a little bit too close to this one. My twin bot got, uh, got infected. It went back. Infected something else. And once they get infected, they start taking a little bit of damage. They won't die, but they'll take damage. Then someone else comes nearby and one of the workers comes nearby, get infected. The worker goes through the entire base and infects everything else. And then suddenly everything was infected. I had 700 units uh, units that were all infected and there is no way to cure it except put a, one of these into the internal. So that was just basically a uh, complete wipe. That is not how it's intended to be, I, I assume. Uh, what I can do though is I can go over there and shoot it, then it's safe. And then it drops these items here. A little bit of a, a glitch uh, a glitch cube here a virus data cube you need 20 of those to research the data data cube research but they are super rare oh 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 this is dangerous this is very dangerous oh right that's not actually dangerous because they are they can't pass through nice look at that this twin bot has two weapons so that's also pretty neat and we can stand here and shoot the buck hive that's pretty cool actually and we take the buck hive. I can't move past. Oh, actually, we can go up here and just take out that. I guess you have to go all the way around. Uh, I know there's one more glitch cube somewhere. I think it might be here or here. It's somewhere where I went up and went like, no, 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 no. Don't, don't explore that until uh, we have, uh, have it on recording. But we definitely want to just go out here and clean out whatever we can out in... Uh, in this location oh look at that a little more glitch bot as well so this is something you get from exploring but you have to pay attention when exploring because if you just randomly click over there they will move over there and basically get infected i should be having instead of having a repair kit i should have a virus protection on this one and i don't understand why i didn't do that oh see another glitch bot cool there we go we are getting a few of these uh, I think we have like one more maybe over here. So this is definitely something you can find by exploring. Um, oh, there we have, yep, under attack. And the trilobites shoot. And there's a bug hive as well. So let's take that out. Shoot. There we go. And let's take that out. Oh, by the way, I also, I think I'm kind of safe. <laughs> this one I forgot to set up. So now they are mining, they are mining it in here and they are slowly making progress. 
we can see this part will then go into the next and you will be disabled from the network. We have this one built as well. So let's just go up here and make sure that you are kind of safe. I don't know what these small things that we can find here, what they are, but that doesn't matter. We'll find out. And okay, so no more glitch bots, it seems. Uh, let's go back here and to the network and then hopefully we don't sort of pass through uh, one of these gl glitch bots. And once we go, I will be just picking up stuff from network and you will get back in here, just back into storage. And once we're back into here, I'll just job drop it. So you can stay up here just to guard if something bad happens. This uh, pickups, the scout will just come pick it up. Excellent. We can go and continue now on our design work here. So this part, uh, damn, you were supposed to actually get two refineries in here, but I, I guess you kind of forgot there. Get two refineries. I thought you had the refineries. Anyway, this one will get a, hmm, I know that I have a small storage, but I don't, can't find it. So I'm going to get one of these and then I'm going to get a behavior controller there. And those are both internal. So that's going to be internal, internal, and these could be for storage later on. But I think I want one more of these because I do think that I won't be able to throw things around fast enough. And then I have to go over here and look. I'm pretty sure one of these had had the storage. I'm pretty sure I had one extra storage. I did. We'll put it back over here. And we should then be able to do this. And of course, the internal one can be put in a medium. It's a huge waste, but that is what it is. Um, storage. Now, what we need to do for storage, what are the things we need for the cable? We need wire, silicon, and crystal. So I'm going to get wire, and this one is just going to be, since I have 12 locations, then this makes sense. Next one here, nope, lock empty, nope, uh, lock specific slot. It's wire, silicon, four slots for that. And then the next one is, uh, what's the last thing? Crystal, it's not crystal powder, is it? No, 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 it's just crystal. There. So now we need to make a program that does this. That requests all these things. Yeah. <laughs> request item is actually having a default request item. Uh, that's kind of neat. So it kind of has like a default thing. And let's see. Request item. There. Request item. There. And request item. There. And then a wait condition, I think. Uh, flow must be the wait. There. All right, so first we are going to request the wire. Let's get that up to 80. This is one thing that I've heard rumors, I think that they might be changing so that, because right now you can only request into one stack, but even if you request 80, it'll just request 80 into the first stack instead of requesting into first stack, then second stack, then third stack. It won't add any, any request beyond the first stack until the first stack has something in it. A little bit uh, simplification. That means we can't really build like as higher high capacity as we'd like to build but nevertheless it is uh, something that uh, at least that we're aware of and then crystal here there so we request one request the next request the next and then we wait i don't know 10 ticks should be nice and this one will be request and then it's going to be wire plus silicon plus uh, crystal there that's a long Quest. And let's give it a shot and fire it up. This did not get uh, get requested. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if it. Has some kind of block for this. Let's see what gets requested now it's only that one okay this is weird this is not good this is not good <laughs> yeah not good because that means we request all the wire but we never start requesting this until oh okay now this one gets requested weird that it works like this all right let's just see how that kind of works now we have our crystal powder build done it is uh, going to be funneled all of this and I also need this to be linked. Don't want anything else in here. 
And that will be funneled into our re-assimilator. So we work towards the next thing. There we go. This is going to be in here. And you're going to be in here. And then I need just one more of these refineries built so that we can uh, get that. In the meantime, we can do re active research. We can uh, set this one as research because we actually have a few of these uh, researches getting done uh, while we wait for this to come in here. All right, I just uh, realized a massive issue and uh, don't know what I can do about it. I can't really do anything about it. So I was like wondering why are we always running out of energized plate when I have this much built, especially when these two are full, like when one of them is empty, like yeah, it's fine that they're running out, then it's because it's a supply issue. But now those of these are full, but yet I don't see them working. Why not? Well, this one, these two are working, that's fine. But you can also see that they're not really likely to send anything on the chunks onwards. And I was like looking at it. And I think the reason is that here it takes 20 in because that's a stack and 20. They are pre-allocated here. So these ones are not actually here. They are in here, but they are dedicated here. So there's nothing to pass on to the next. Also, we can see how little is passed on from here. This one is uh, taking it in. Uh, taking in. Here, yeah, five plate plus five plate, and I don't know why the next five plates are not being sent onwards. Uh, we can see that some of these plates are being sent onwards now, uh, but that's it's really a an issue that we are not sending any of the crystal chunks onwards. That is a problem, and I think the issue is that we simply don't have space for it. I think we needed to have two slots with crystal chunks. And I can't remove these because they are dedicated to these two. Um, and I, I, I tried to see if I could unfix this one. Empty slot. Oh, I can. Fix and then get this one in. Let's see if that works. That should be able to pass it on. And this one can be fixed too. Here. All right. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, look at that. Uh, this one can be fixed too. It works. It works. Yay, I like fixing things. All right, it's good. And this one, one of these can be changed and one of them cannot be changed because the other one is locked here. All right, let's see. How's that working? Okay, now it's because of uh, this being empty, but something is working. Nothing is working, nothing is working. Yeah, okay. Well, it's it's slightly it's slightly not working a little bit better than before. This part, it's now getting the crystal chunks in, and I think we need ha we have an issue with crystals. Uh, there's also running a little bit low on crystals. I don't think that's an issue. I think it's simply an issue of uh, of transport, which is again a weird thing. Um, I do need to make a hauler to just bring it back to some more useful location. That's something we definitely want to solve, but just not right now. What we do want to solve is making some cable, infinite cable, there, and cable, there, right. And this cable needs three inputs, and that's probably going to be exactly the same problem as before, right? When this one has three inputs, then I'm going to be dragging you over here, that one, and then it will be, yeah, that's bad. That was a disaster. Oops. So let's get these back here. And lock, lock. And this one will be locked for crystals. And this will be locked for the output cable. There. Let's try again. Drag it over. Kick it over. It gets all the stuff. These two are building. They get in here. It's all good. I can copy paste it. Oops. How did... Why did it rotate? That's weird. Um has to be rotated the same way there and we get an output location here that hopefully works we don't know we definitely need some better storage that's for sure and i think better storage will help us a lot uh, once we get that and which means since the virus protection is stuck now we can cancel this research and go in here and work on this part that's the one we really want uh, but we're not making it because we don't make those cubes yet we are making cubes and that goes over to the re-simulator and this is the cable goes into cubes so we can then make the not the cubes the frames the cable cables goes into frames frames go into cubes there so let's uh, have a look at how we make uh, data frames they are 
uh, HD data frames. They are built in a robotic facility and they look like two energized plates that we have difficulty with and then some uh, some frames as well. Uh, awesome cable as well. So that's two inputs. That means we can use uh, this design up here. Uh, let's get, oh, no, 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 definitely not. It's going to be, this is a robotic build. So that's uh, probably the good template to use for this. And the two items are requesting cable and energized. Okay, well, doesn't matter. We, we, we're we going to have to get some new inbounds anyway. And that will be over on that side. This will definitely be changed here to be requesting. This is the cable part. Yes. And then drag it all the way over and change this to cable infinite there. Okay, let's see if we can drag it on and see if we can get all of these working again. And it does seem like it. it does seem like we actually can do this because the quantity this one is consuming is only two of each. So it's going to be reserving two and reserving two. That's four. The problem is that when it reserves too much here, like I think this might actually have the same problem. So if I change this one to be here then it might actually work just a little bit better because it just needs to forward a small part. These are all like things we tinker with and and it's something that you need to ex need to understand and and figure out initially. But once you figure it out, it's all good. It's all good. And like this one, why is it not forwarding more of this part? That's really weird. Okay, it's just coming in here, it's coming in here, but it's somehow not getting in there. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit weird, but um, it's kind of the best way we can make it right now. Oh, this one got built and they will definitely be something different. You are now making HD frames and you're making HD frames there. And this one is not enabled, so that's good. You will be making, uh, that was energized frames coming in and this one will be changed to energized frames. Like that and these are going out copy that one over and this is going to be not metal or this is going to request e plates there we go requesting energized plates they are here and oh wasn't this a program that count item we don't need that anymore there energized plates the other one is going to be what? Um, what was the other thing? Cable. Yes, cable. And here we'll change the name. Cable. And remove this. And change this to actually request cable, not just telling that it's requesting cable. And we need to undo all of this and flip it to... That's the output. No, 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 no. Cable. Request cable should be coming in and I can then go inbound and inbound and those are some weird things that they're producing here. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I need to undo this so we don't shovel too much inbound. It's going to get this. It's going to get cable inbound there and then are the quantities of this no two three okay so that's just fixing one more item to the outbound that one and whoops damn drag it over undo drag it over there not part of the network all this is good set the home register so we forward things inbound they do have stuff here yeah oh uh, that's not correct these have to be set to infinite because for some reason it works when it's set to infinite <laughs> yep it just works all right we are moving forward to see i wish i could take them out here because but we are missing some refineries for it so i'm gonna just let this one be part of the network so that you can actually pick up these 20 which are for outgoing order and that outgoing order is hopefully coming into this one i think that's the one coming in here there we go and then we can start working on some 
HD cubes. That's at least something. We're going to mark this as part of the network for now. And I'm going to disable it from the network while I build next ones. There we go. They're going to be busy. And then I'm going to enable it just for as a temporary thing. This one has to be changed to HD. And all of this has to go out. So you see, it's a little bit repetitive, these kind of things, but it's also just setting up a really cool structure and then we have it. And then from there on, we can copy paste it to everything else. So this is looking both really good and really bad because uh, the good part, well, first of all, I changed this one because it just didn't work. It could only sort of request one thing at a time. And that was just really unfortunate because I needed to sort of work on one uh, requesting all of them at once so we have to go back to this one for now at least and keep that going we'll bump a bit out on where we want to go but uh, as you can see none of it is working the stuff that's uh, running down here is all because of the chug or crystal 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 and crystal and uh, then sort of cascading onwards from there now if we look at our crystal mining we do have a lot down here we have a lot a lot down here but we're not getting it back in so what if i just i just did a little test run here and uh, since this one isn't re they're all just cascading here and i don't need that so we're going to be uh, removing this for now there are all of these there and that one okay so none of them have that yeah, i'll be pushing this up i'll be pushing this up and we need a single a single bot will take you and i'm gonna give you a storage that's coming oops definitely not um you i found i had a storage here then you are gonna get what else are you gonna get you have a virus protection and you're also gonna get um, a behavior controller yes let's get a behavior controller for you don't know where i have one of those but i know i have one so uh, then we'll be coding a behavior uh for this one there we go should be pretty straightforward and this one will be uh hall crystal jug don't we have that already i think we have that don't we um don't know doesn't matter i also misspelled it so that's not okay just hall crystal there we go that's better all right what is it gonna do it is uh, just gonna copy the one we have for where are you for the i know we have some haulers where are the haulers? Hmm. I need to find one. There we go. That's the hauler. We'll just take this part and then... Hold metal ore. I do have that one. Okay, cool. So we just take our new one and copy the whole metal ore here. I'll go here. I'll go here. And then I have whole metal ore. Load behavior. There we go. And then of course it's not going to be holding uh, this. It's going to be that one and then we'll change it and it won't change the template because we're basically just taking a, a copy of it so this is one pickup and three drop-offs and let's take another pickup uh, here if we can get away with it and that's going to be p2 will now be a pickup location and i want to also get that one and 120 if we can get away with it if we can that's fine and then I'm going to drop off at kill that P3 and P4. Yes, that's the program. And check for free space. 120 of those. There we go. And this one should probably only be 60. So it'll take 60 from one and 60 from the other. There we go. That should be our program. Then we need to say you go to P1 is going to be this one. P2 is going to be that one. And then it'll be unloaded to this and this. I will be fixing things to be only crystal chunks. I will be marking it as crystal chunks infinite. So it gets the register. It will not be part of the network and I'll just be sending it off. Let's see if that works because now it'll send it over to these locations, crystal chunks there. And this will be also crystal chunks, just giving us sort of a local storage that we can pick up from. Now, these two should actually not be part of the network because they are coming in anyway for this. And 
the other ones will be in part of the network because they are the ones that will be available. There. That should work. These two are not. And here it comes in. Drops it off there. All right, it drops it off pretty quickly. But now the good news is we should have all of what you want here. And that will just be much more accessible. Let's make sure that these are fixed so that nothing else. All right, that actually just works so easily. Then this is kind of what I, I think that if I, when I get more experience, I'll have a bus where everything comes in here and then it's sort of have on a bus line here. Uh, there'll be these ones going out and then out to the side. For example, imagine this one being for primarily for drones and all down here we would put put the uh, put things in from with haulers coming into central locations just to feed in that we have a a drone based bus that would be interesting i think this remote haulage works surprisingly well to say uh, to say it like it is you can see here now we are just continuing to have a much better supply here and they will the local drones will just go back and forth so that's definitely something i would recommend in the future just have each of the mining depot have a single hauler bring it back to a centralized location that is uh, from where where the normal you could say logistics bots will distribute things did this one now it's uh, still working it's probably not just not picking up anything uh, we're getting an okay amount uh, of, of build it's kind of slow okay now the next one is also running and i guess we are going to be running out of Ah, the next thing. Uh, but what we are looking for is the completion of this, uh, this re-simulator. So let's wait for this one to be uh, getting up to 50 and then we can see what uh, that opens up. And here we go. That was the last delivery here for our re-simulator. It's now coming online. Slowly but surely, uh, we had a bit of a, a gap on in the, both silicon and iron and a metal ore. Not iron, just metal ore. There's a lot of things that are running out and uh, that's kind of one of the things that I would say feedback wise, uh, you spend a lot of time just going out here and just claiming the next patch, the next patch. And of course, setting up good routines is is paramount. But at this point, construct the re-simulator. This is where the demo would end. But uh, hey, we do have an option for doing this. Um, what is it? It does fixed, not removable internal. Uh, reconstruct objects on a simulation level. It takes 2000 power. That's a little bit more than I, I s expected. Garage two, and then some internal storage. Now, um, it did say sort of in uh, here, it did say that it had, where did it say? I'm pretty sure that one place it said that there was one recipe that was discovered. And let's see, whew, uh, finding something out. I'd like to have a search function construct the simulator so this one is saying that at least the miner can be upgraded to another kind of miner but you know power might be a little bit of an issue so uh, this is kind of how we deal with power and i don't think it's a bad idea i don't think it's a bad idea at all so i'm going to delete that and make this into also a wind power block uh, this one is unfortunately a little bit misplaced but i am not going to change it at this point uh, let's let's have a look at uh, let's see I'll also get the cleanup crew over here and we'll get some of that let's you know what let's just see what we can do if we just take one of these in here we might be sort of running low on power but I don't care we'll see is that when going here slots are not compatible I guess this is sort of what comes out I have no idea how this what this works hmm 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 request item well that's kind of a thing so we're going to come back to this enigma of the re-simulator a bit later when uh, when i figured out what it can do if it can do something also need to make sure that it's actually something that is uh, accessible and workable in the early access and the last final thing we want to do in uh, this episode should be a small thing uh, as always um, but you know this might actually be a little bit bigger than i think Okay, so I want to build basically the same as what we have up here, except that I think I've uh, come to the realization that what I have done up here is maybe not like the smartest type of build. 
because I'm simply building 10 of these and it's just way, way, way too much production to ever keep up for, for this small amount here. Like granted, of course, these have a very long crafting time of 40 seconds. So if we, for some reason have it, but having 10 of these crafters, it's just too much. And it probably also strains our power unnecessarily. So I, I think we need to be a little bit more cautious about this. And what we're gonna do now is we are simply going to make a little bit more smaller, I suppose, for, for this part. Uh, we do have uh, a lot of this so this will be like the final build here where we will build the ro date robotic data cubes and robotic data cubes are made in 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 here that is here robotic data cubes which is what we need for continuing the science there all right so with this build we can now request the stuff we need we need two robotics for this one and we need one transporter there we go and uh, we need these to be enabled so that they will request and this is never going to come in yeah that's done this is also never going to come in because it's not and you are going to be powered so they will go in here and that was quick get these up here and that should be enough for making an infinite amount of that and an infinite amount of that as well. And I'm gonna set it up to the network, even though it's kind of silly. There. There we go. So the, we should be uh, building this. Unfortunately, I can't really afford to build a whole sequence over here. Uh, I can always build it, but it just doesn't make sense considering how much or how little I want to build. Oh, look at that. This is not, uh, not great. That and let's see, quantities. Uh, let's uh, make sure that these go stop loading in and you stop being out and there and then there we go so that is going to be better go in you go in always remember to lock this up uh, before that will speed up our research quite drastically they are now coming in here and we are working on well making this we could actually just uh, with good reason just make a second uplink I suppose. Uh, how do we make an uplink? Can we not make... Oh, we can make an uplink. Yeah, that's they are surprisingly cheap. So let's make another uplink for this one so we can have two uplinks going and therefore research faster. Though I don't really think researching speed is anywhere, any at any time going to be a relevant measure of success here. But we're pushing it in. All the stuff that we made over here is now being converted into storage, uh, into these. So we kind of... That's kind of problematic that since I do want to make sure that I have the two storage blocks as well but they are now coming in here and just filling this up I actually might even go so far as to lock this so I don't get too much in here there so we don't get an excess amount yeah I think that's actually that's actually a good idea and even to the point of doing this so that I again don't have too much of this and let's go back and see, did we get it? Yes, we did. So you can, no, 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 that, that, that's everything, no. You go in here, sweet. Now they bring stuff in and that means we have twice as fast a production and we just want to unlock the very first part of this, the advanced research in this episode. Now this factory has grown quite, quite a lot this, uh, this episode with us building, we did have the NHS, so we built the cables, we built the, crystal powder we built uh, the hot drive things we built this uh, re-simulator that we don't know how it works but that's uh, beside the point we also did find out that there's a pretty cool idea about sort of bringing things into some consolidated locations and then pushing them in here from with the <clears throat> normal logistics bots and that's something we definitely want to explore it's also something I definitely want to design for in the future without a doubt uh, that's something we need to design for I do think that we're not really, yeah, we do have a little bit of an issue in terms of, I don't even know why that would be an issue here. Are they not working? They should be working. Oh, they're all working. Oh, they're working diligently. It's just that they're being consumed so fast. So no problem. And we now have at least one of them working and the next one will also be working. All right, they are one, two, three pips away from this. So with that, I think that this is, do I really want this? It just seems, with this game, I, there's just a point about 
you might want to just build it and then have it stuck idle uh, like something like this one was idle this one is going to be uh, pathing uh, working towards idling and this will be idling so that you just have idle buffers for everything like in factorial uh, you just want idle buffers unfortunately you can say that it requires more resources out here but yeah so be it well with that uh, thank you very much everyone for joining it's been super awesome and i really appreciate all the support of course um if you want to see more be sure to hit the like button let me know in the comment sections uh, i'm also looking at whether there's a subscription sort of uh, interest here where we can attract a new audience as well i will be streaming this as well on uh, twitch but i can't really say when i'll just try to find a day here and there and just uh, throw it on the schedule so i can you kind of have to either attend all of my streams or maybe come to discord and check my schedule where i'm always trying to keep it updated uh, also lastly I do have a patron and I very much appreciate for anyone who wants to go the extra mile and support the channel and the work I do here because that's uh, kind of how I keep this uh, flowing making sure that I can continue without uh, seeking too many sponsorships and never do ad integrations and uh, never do in in video ads don't know if you notice that but I don't like those and so I don't do those uh, well that is awesome we will just wait for this one to come in and then we'll be getting some new cool tech that will be the storage we can finally make the small and the internal storage as this comes in where are you at you're so damn close to getting it and there we go storage is an important part of keeping your base efficient inventory slots are limited to your on your units yeah no shit we have no so having extra options for storage be will be more and more valuable as you stockpile and control the flow of your materials throughout your base and so you're ready to readily available when you need them yes thank you and these radio receivers and transmitters definitely not something we're going to be looking at just now but it's definitely something so in the next episode we'll continue to hash out the next researches and try some of the cool things maybe do some consolidated work on uh, on inbound logistics as well thank you very much for watching until next time take care and as always stay effective